Number 10, Texas, wrapping up the Bevo Classic against UT Arlington in the finale of the tournament. Janae Jefferson back in the lineup after missing six games. But how about the fielder next to her, Mackenzie Parker and Short flashing the leather. Parker is so strong in that middle infield. Rolling up the double play. She's also been strong at the plate. Janae Jefferson back in that leadoff position. Flexing that consistency at the start off of this game. And the Longhorns turned it on with the wind blowing straight in. They still managed to hit deep into that outfield to cash in some very key runs. Yeah, Texas would grab the early lead. Jefferson with a couple hits. Shannon Rhodes reaching. There were a few errors in this game by UT Arlington. And Texas would really break things open in the third inning. It would end up being a four-run inning. Mary Iacopo, this one usually leaves the yard, but the wind was blowing in at 20 miles an hour, so it's the first double of the season for Iacopo to drive in a run. Taylor Ellsworth, next batter, RBI single, and the Longhorns would go up 5-1 to one after three. I'll tell you, even more than just the hitting, the base running was so on point. Taking extra feet when they can, Thinking ahead and taking advantage of UTA errors. Texas looking good all around. How about Molly Jacobson? So circle. strong in the circle. I mean, this senior had started this game, was super efficient. Her strikeout to base on ball ratio is one of the best in the nation, and she showed why. We'll pick up a team leading ninth win, pitching five innings in this one. Bailey Williams, the freshman, coming up with her first career hit. And Texas would walk it off in six as this one drops in off the bat of Alyssa Washington. And the Longhorns run rule the Mavericks by a final 